Reggie Bush saying, I want my Heisman and I want my records. And he's not the only one who's coming for past accolades. How about Chris Weber sending in a tweet? Hey, where can I get the key so I can unlock the banners and we can hang the Fab Five stuff? And Gator, I want to get your thoughts on it. I want the people's thoughts on the craziest thing they saw from the first 24 hours of athletes getting paid and ex-athletes being salty about it. 248-539-9797. Well, let's, I'll start with Reggie Bush. Um, you want your records back. I, I don't know how you go about doing that. Um, it, it, and let me first say, I guess, that it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. But you're asking me for an opinion on right. it. Okay, so now I have to invest a little bit. And I'm sorry, man, but you, you you broke rules and like pretty well established rules. This wasn't like slap on the wrist stuff. Like, oh, I skipped math class. His family got a house, right? I mean, they they set mom up pretty well. Um, just so you could go to that school. I mean, that is a major violation, and to this day, as far as I know, still a major violation. Despite nil. I think it's a pretty major violation for the school to pay for a house for your family to ensure that you come to the school. Pretty sure it's all still against the rules. So I don't know what the hell he's talking about there and his Heisman Trophy and all that. Sorry, man. Look, am I going to forget how amazing Reggie Bush was at USC? Not for a heartbeat because he was one of the most electrifying players I've ever seen play the game. I love watching Reggie Bush highlights. I mean, he was incredible. The, uh, p- power and speed. He got to the edge. He was gone. And I loved him when he played for the Lions for that little bit. He was, you know, he wasn't the same Reggie Bush, obviously, but he still had some flashes. And thousand yard guy, though, wasn't he? Uh, was, was he the last thousand yard back we've had in Detroit? Was it thousand? Or was, he, was it thousand between rushing and receiving, oh, or whatever it was? Yeah. Or the t- I forget how, what the rules were with what, what happened with him. But, but regardless, he was he was good. He was fun to watch. Um, but no, dude, you, can't, you don't have a leg to stand on with this. And Chris Weber? <laughs> That's the one that really gets if me. If anyone's going to ask to unlock the door to the storage room that houses those final four banners, I think Chris Weber should be the last of the five of those starting players to ask for it, not the first one to demand it. Hey, Chris, maybe you show your face at Michigan once or twice first, and, and then you can start that process. And again, not unlike with what happened before, with Reggie Bush, actually Chris Webber was before Reggie Bush, but same thing. Hey, man, you broke a pretty well-established rule. You took money specifically to get you to commit to that university and then kept taking money. This wasn't like, oh, hey, man, I had a business on the side making T-shirts and I got busted. Oops, my bad. No, that wasn't it. This wasn't a name, image, and likeness thing back then. It was flat-out cash. What are you talking about? What's the matter with these guys? Hey, players are allowed to make money now. That's not fair. We can... Okay, time's changed, and now players can make money. I'm not thrilled with it, but whatever. It is it's it is what it is. But the rules back then said that you couldn't. Guess what? Used to be you could be 18 years old to buy alcohol. In some states, it was 19, and then it became 21. Well, wait a minute. Well, Gator, it's the whole idea where if I get pulled over speeding in a 55, but now that's a 75. Do right. I get to go yeah, back? Right. I want my, my points off my license. Right. I want the cash back they in my pocket. It. Well, by, by all the rules, this is now a 75. I'm all for name, image, and likeness much more so than you are. I know yeah. you're more skeptical. Even as someone who is very for what I feel is a necessary change in the game, I don't think Reggie should get his records back or his Heisman back or Chris Weber should get to personally hang those banners up at Chrysler. Those were the rules at the time. They didn't follow the rules. They were punished for it. Now, if Michigan wants to feel sure. like, oh, well, we're going to hang the banners back up, which seems strange that you would hang the banners back up given that, well, <laughs> they were stripped because of the NCAA violations. They're not going to be hung back up, as far as I know. Right. The big thing is that they're going to let Weber back into the Michigan family that they have, right? Yep. That's the big thing. The first thing out of his mouth shouldn't be, let's get the banners. Woo! I'm all for reinstating. Re- bring him back to sure. the fold. Sure, he paid his price. Of course. I, I guess. You know, he, he had to stay away for 
25 years, whatever it was. And it's currently not a penalty that I think no. should extend into. Right. So I'm fine moving forward. You don't want to throw anybody to the Wolves. Fine. But or the with, Wolverines. Or the Wolverines. There you go. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. So we've got Reggie Bush. We've got uh, Chris Weber. And anything that you've seen just out of the ordinary from the first day, because it was all over social media, various athletes stepping forward saying, hey, I'm open for business or I've already found business. I'm doing business with this company. We, we mentioned yesterday the Fresno State basket was a basketball players that are both doing Boost Mobile now as an endorsement. And it's it's going to be one of those deals where we see more and more endorsements. I think there's an LSU gymnastics uh, gymnast. She's got a ton of followers on Instagram, and she posted like up to I think it was Times Square and said like more coming soon. Like she's going to have some endorsements coming. This is going to be in your face moving forward. Yesterday was crazy. It was like a different type of national signing day. Yeah, like it was the second national national signing day of the year. Other than you know where you commit to school is where you commit in your uh, sponsorship from where what's your brand going to look like? What's your logo going to look like? You know. It was crazy. Um, it was a bit, you know, wild, wild west, and it's going to be. We already talked about this yesterday, how without any real type of structure from the NCAA, everyone's kind of, you know, making up their own laws and, and bylaws and, or you know, whatever. But we'll get through this. And in the end, I think this is what needed to happen. Uh, the, the kids or the student athletes are now, you know, able to make something. And I don't think it's going to be as crazy as, as everyone thinks. Right, it's not, not going to be yeah. every, not like every player in Alabama is going to have a million dollar exactly. deal or anything I think like people that. People are going to extremes. It's it's only the very small percentage are going to make anything significant. But now, guess what? That you know that right tackle can maybe if he just gets subs for a year, I'm sure he'll be happy. Whatever it is, you know, I mean, he can get something now without you know having you know without costing his team or university games. I think it's fine. Two, four, eight, I think it will be too. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Like I actually look back at Reggie Bush and I go, it sucks you weren't able to make money off your name, image, and likeness. Like I, I, I suppose I have sympathy in that regard. But he signed up to play college football at a time where that stuff wasn't permissible, and the guys he was competing against would have been ineligible if they were caught doing the same thing. So right. I mean that that's a guy who could have made money off of jersey sales, right? Because they sold a ton. Of, what was he, number five, number five, number five yep. jerseys? They sold a ton of those. Should he have gotten a cut of those? Absolutely. Was that still when they had, uh, was was that still part of the video game at that point? I don't think so. May have been past that. I think he was on the cover of a video game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he could have made some money from that stuff. But he also, you know, got a scholarship in a house. <laughs> Well, here's the other thing, too. He still got to make those plays. He still got to hold the Heisman Trophy and give a speech. That's kind of why I think some of this is hollow when we take stuff away or tell teams, oh, you got to take down banners. Fans still have those moments and those memories, and the athletes still played those games, and we remember them. They do, but the fans and and the athletes have to be reminded that, yeah, you know what? There's there's a big black cloud hanging over you. Like, every time you want to say, well, we did it. Well, you didn't. uh, Technically, you didn't because you cheated. But I get the point. Like, history's not going to look as as unfavorably on Reggie Bush 10 years from now when every athlete has the opportunity to do this. They're going to go, oh, I guess that was that archaic time when athletes couldn't profit off their name. Totally different things.